Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics. This is problem from perspective, problem 13. A pentagonal prism, a pentagonal prism, 25 mm side, 60 mm axis, 25 mm side, 60 mm axis, is lying on the ground on a rectangular face with a corner of the front pentagonal face touching picture plane. I repeat, a pentagonal prism is lying on the ground on a rectangular face with a corner of the front pentagonal face touching picture plane. The axis of the prism makes 30 degrees to PP. The axis of the prism makes 30 degrees to PP. What, it, what does it mean? It means it's lying like this. This is picture plane. This is picture plane. A corner is touching picture plane. A corner is touching picture plane. This is how it lies. Agreed? Now, the station point is 65 mm in front of PP. The central plane passes through center of the prism and the horizon is at the level of the top edge of the prism. The horizon is at the level of the top edge of the prism. What does it mean? It means that the height of the observer is equal to the height of the prism when it is lying. The horizon passes through top edge of the prism. The height of the observer is in fact not given. What do you have to do? You have to first of all draw a GL at the bottom most of the paper page. Draw the pentagon whose side is 25. Through this top corner draw a HL. So what is the height of the observer? Height of the observer is equal to this height. The horizon Passes through top edge of the prism. Okay. So you are drawn a GL and HL. Now draw two vertical lines. Take this width, take this width, and draw the plan. This width, take this width and draw the plan. And mark A, B, C, D, E on the front face, G, F, G, H, I, J on the back face. So, length of the prism is 60. This width is transferred here. That means you definitely have to draw the pentagon to get the width to get to draw the plan. To draw this plan, you need the width of the prism. So, you however, whatever be the case, you have to draw a pe pentagon and find the width. Here, you definitely have to do it because the height of the observer is not given. Okay. You are drawn the plan of the object. Then locate the station point, you have already drawn HLGL. I repeat, draw GL, draw pentagon, draw HL, take this bit, construct the plan, locate the speed. Now, I am going to solve it, do it by the simplest of the methods. Listen carefully, I am going to solve it by the simplest of the method. I find the vanishing point of this side. This side is, this angle is 30 degrees, it's already marked there, 30 degrees. I find the vanishing point of this side. How do I do it? Find it. Draw a line through SP parallel to the side. It cut picture plane at point V1. Drop it down to GL. This is capital V1. What is capital V1? Capital V1 is the vanishing point of AF and all other lines parallel to AF. Agreed? V1 is the vanishing point of AF and all other lines parallel to AF. Now, I am going to draw this by single vanishing point. I am going to draw this by single vanishing point. I am going to extend all these edges to picture plane. It cut C1, D1, B1, E1. A already touches picture plane, so there is no need of extending them. Drop them down to GL. What do I get? I get C1. Capital C1, capital D1, capital B1, capital E1, A is not available. Not, it's already on P. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. After, after extending all these points to PP, I drop them down. When I drop C1 down, C at the level of C, I have got C1. B1. 
ये ये B1, C1, D1, E1. Sorry, this is not there. A is C. Yeah. I repeat. Extend this, cut which apply, drop them down, and at the level, this level, at the level of C, C1, at the level of A, A1, at the level of E, E1, at the level of T, D1, at the level of P, P1. These edges are extended. These edges, these horizontal edges are extended so that it touch which apply and these are their perspectives. Don't connect this to get the front face of the pentagon. Don't connect them. Instead, what you have to do is join all these points to the vanishing point. Join all these points to the vanishing point. Drop these intercepts. Locate these intercepts. Intercept of B, this is intercept of B, capital B. Intercept of C, where is it? On this line, C, D. A, B, C, D, E. Then, back. F. G. H. I. J. You have got all the points. Connect them. Front the pentagon and face. You have got the pentagonal prism lying on the ground. Agree? A, B, C, D, E, F. When you are looking from here, you can see this face slightly. So, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E and the back side. H, G, H, I and I, J are not. I have not marked the axis. That is not necessary. Okay. This is the easiest of the methods. I have used only one vanishing point. Single vanishing point. Now, listen carefully. If you pull the prism back, that is the prism is pulled back without touching picture plane. If you pull the prism back without touching picture plane, what happens? Absolutely no difference. All lines are extended to cut picture plane. A will have an extension. This FA will have an extension. That's all. That means similar to C1, D1, D1, E1, A also will have an A1. And at the level of C1, E will have an A1. And this A will lie on the line connecting A1 to V1. That's all. When you pull back, only additionally a point A1 will come. Same as A will have an intercepts. Here B, C, D and E have intercepts and we are dropping from them. Whereas A is not dropped from the intercepts, A is directly dropped from A. 
when it is pulled back a will also have an intercept and capital a will lie on that intercept that's all the difference now similar to this you can have a hexagonal prism you can have a hexagonal prism triangular prism square prism anything see if you refer back the first problem which we have done perspective 2 a rectangular box we could have done it by that method instead of taking two vanishing points there you could have solved it by taking only single vanishing point perspective 2 perspective 3 perspective 4 and also perspective 5 all those five problems you could have solved by taking single vanishing point in this particular problem i preferred single vanishing point because of another reason also see this side if you take two vanishing points, what do you do? You take this vanishing point and then this vanishing point. So vanishing point of this side. Now if you consider this side, this side has got only one bisect that is parallel to the ground. Only one bisect that is parallel to the ground. All other edges are inclined to the ground. So when you draw vanishing point, that vanishing point corresponds to only this edge, which you call as DE. It doesn't become, the vanishing point doesn't become vanishing points of all other lines. That's why I didn't do that. Vanishing points are considered for lines that are parallel to the ground only. Others are about vanishing points but we usually do not consider them. Vanishing points are taken for lines that are parallel to the ground. Okay? That's a problem. That is why I didn't take the vanishing point of this side. If I take the vanishing point of this side, what you have to do is, this front pentagonal face has to be inscribed in a rectangle. Then draw the perspective of that rectangle and then draw the points or locate the points of the pentagon inside that rectangle. Otherwise, it is not possible. So, this is the easiest way. Now, consider visual drive method. The starting point is right in front of the object. If you go for visual drive method now, you will have 5 plus 5 points here. In the elevation, you will have 5 plus 5 points here. So, below SP, you have got SP dash. You have got 5 plus 5, 10 points joined to SP dash. And this intercept to be drawn is totally confusing. There is 99% probability that you go wrong, you make a mistake. But this procedure is error proof. This method is error proof. Agreed? We will draw another question where a cylinder is lying like this. Very similar procedure, still we will do that. It's also a very frequent university question. Okay? Thank you.